Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's the same day. I'm wearing the same clothes and Bowie's still sleeping here. So I still have the decluttering bug. It's still early-ish, so I have time to do so. So I'm gonna start decluttering my makeup storage solution, just like with the other decluttering videos. What I have hasn't been accumulated in a year. It's been years of um, getting PR releases, makeup gratis at work. I used to work at Bare Minerals and just makeup consumption. So I haven't done a big decluttering in probably five years, I think. So it's been a while and these drawers need a lot of help. So I'm going to be getting rid of foundations, concealers, and powders today. So any face makeup products, then I'll conquer bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. And finally, well, I'll save the lips for last because there is quite a lot of lip products. So I'm going to get started with foundations. So this is my foundation drawer, which is separate from the foundations that I keep here. Here are new foundations, stuff that I reach for on the regular. So we have Milk Makeup, the Cosmetic CC Cream, this new guy from Revlon, it's the Candid Foundation, which I've actually been enjoying quite a lot. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick, which I've also been enjoying. And then in here, I have the Lily Lolo BB Cream, the Too Faced Born This Way, which I've been loving, and then Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint, which I love. So these are staying here just because these are the stuff that I use on the regular. But these are the extra bits. So I'm going to pull this whole drawer out, set it over here. And then this drawer also has foundation. So I'm going to take this whole thing out as well. And I'm going to put it over here. So I'm going to be giving some things away that are new and could use a new home. Other things that are really, really old will be thrown out. If you see this pile, I just decluttered eyeshadow palettes. If you want to check out that video, I will link it right now. But I'm going to keep those, but I need a place to store them. So hopefully I can free up one of these drawers and store the palettes there. So let's get started. I'm going to start with powder foundations. So I have powder foundations in this little box. This one is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy, which is the old formula that has been discontinued and replaced by the Blemish Rescue, which is this guy. They're not the same thing. This had uh, tea tree oil. This is salicylic acid. I do love both formulas, but I'm going to get rid of this guy because this is really old. This was given to me like two and a half years ago when I first started working at Bare Minerals. And this is brand new, so this is staying. This is going to be thrown away. This is also something that needs to be thrown away. This is my first ever Bare Minerals matte foundation that I purchased back in college. So that was 2009. And I bought Fairly Light, which is not my shade, but it was a good, <laughs> it was a decent color match for someone who didn't know how to color match. Then we have two Golden Fair foundations. This is in the original formula. This one's in the matte formula. I'm going to be keeping both just because they're fairly new and they're both my shade. Then this one's from Pure Cosmetics. This was sent to me. I just find this formula so dry. I love the packaging because they were celebrating their anniversary. But apart from the packaging, which is a little bit gaudy, not <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I just don't ever use this. So I feel like it can get used somewhere else. I'm going to put this in the gift pile. This guy from Tarte. I have a review on this foundation from years ago. Like, I was growing out my pixie. Like, it's been a while. I did really like this, but I'm going to have to throw it away just because it's been here forever. The Sephora Matte Powder Foundation, which I really did love. <laughs> you can tell how old it is by this sponge. So this guy is 
gonna go. And then we have two Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder foundations. I am not the biggest fan of this formula. I also find it quite drying. So I have Champagne and Golden Ivory. Both of them have a golden undertone. And I did use them quite a bit, but I just don't, I haven't reached for it in a while. Actually, I'm gonna keep them just so I can make a Bare Minerals Foundation overview. So this guy is next. This one is the Pivon Sublime CC Cream from L'Occitane. I did like it, but it is really, really old. This is also something that I reviewed. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, which is great for oily skin, but it is super, super old. This is another old item. This is from Bourgeois. It is the CC Cream. Loved it, but I should have used it <laughs> when I first got it, so that's going away. This guy is completely separated. It's from Pure Cosmetics. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I also didn't dislike it. So this is going... This I got during a L'Oreal Masterclass that I attended. I feel like two years maybe three that I got this so this is also going to be thrown away this is probably going to be the most throwaway heavy decluttering just because a lot of these foundations are super old like this guy this is from sassy and chic which I got from the Dollar Tree this is going in the trash this is the Glossier perfecting skin tint in light which I found to be a little too like cool for me a little too pink so that's why I didn't use that much. This is old and has separated completely. So that's also going to get thrown away. This is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation, which I do like. Very similar to the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. But I did buy this over two years ago. It says here it's good for two years. So unfortunately, this is also going to be thrown away. And I have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector, which is almost like a BB or CC product. I don't remember when I got this. I feel like it hasn't been that long. And I didn't use it that much, so I'm gonna put this in the gifting. I also don't know. I don't remember using this one. I'm gonna put it in the gifting one. I feel like my mom might be able to use it. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation. I'm gonna just give this away. I don't like this. <laughs> so we have this guy, which is from Holika Holika, I believe. Yeah, this is the Aqua Petite Jelly. I actually do really like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna, for the meantime, put it in my keep pile. You have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Almond. This is the keep. This guy, which is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Concealer in the shade Almond, is meant to be more of a contour shade. I'm getting, I'm getting lipstick or something. This I'm also going to keep for now. So we're continuing with this second drawer, which has heavier coverage foundations, some concealers. I did have some single eyeshadows, but I just removed them because they're not part of this decluttering. So. This, I can tell you, I'm giving away. This is the Bare Minerals Made to Fit Foundation, which was the the app that they created to create your perfect match. Clearly, you can tell, this is so much darker. So this is gonna get gifted. Can't even make it work. <laughs> then here we have the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I have the shade 105 and 130, both of which are a golden undertone. So these two are definitely staying. They're fairly new. These guys, which were sent by Makeup Forever, these can go. <laughs> Not because I didn't enjoy them, but because they're so, so old, like really gross. So we have R210, which was way too pink. And then we have Y215, which this one was my perfect match, but it is just so so gross looking so this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in porcelain another one i was very indifferent about this like it was good but it wasn't great 
it's also very old and separating so this is from covergirl this is the true blend matte mate foundation which one of my blogger friends gave me because she got the whole pr package with every single shade which is very wasteful in my opinion but she did take out the lighter shades and asked me if i wanted to try it out so i said yeah um I've only worn it a few times and I really didn't love it, but I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like I might keep this and maybe give it another chance to see if I like it. So I'm going to put this over here. Then we do have two other Bare Metals Fresh Face foundations. So we have, this was my round two, which was still not quite the right color. Kind of want to keep it just because it is a memory from the time that I worked at Bare Minerals and when we launched this foundation. But at the same time, what's inside this bottle doesn't really match me. I don't know what to do with that one. This was one of the samples that we had. <laughs> and this one's actually a much better match. So I'm definitely keeping this guy. I don't know about this one. I feel like I shouldn't just because it is clutter. But it does bring me joy because I did enjoy working at Bare Minerals. So I'm going to put it here for the meantime. This is the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation. This is super old. You know the drill. And this guy I used to love. But it is the heaviest foundation that I have ever purchased. It used to be my go-to like event makeup foundation. Like I've worn it to weddings and graduations and all that stuff. It's really nice, but it is super heavy. And this one I got when I was starting out my blog, I think. So 2013, so this guy I purchased in 2011. So when I was studying abroad, this is the Vichy Derma Blend. I loved it, but it is super full coverage. I used to use this all the time as concealer and it worked really great like that, but this is definitely way, way too old. This is also something that's super old. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I absolutely hated this. It was just the messiest foundation ever. I mean, you can tell how dirty it is. It was hard to work with. The color was nice. I have no complaints about the color, but overall, just the packaging made this product such a... Uh, it was just horrible to use <laughs> and super messy, so that's being thrown away. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, which is incredible. I absolutely love this formula. I haven't used it in a while, but I feel like it's because it's been in the back of this drawer, so I'm going to keep this. Then we do have two Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundations. They're in the same shade as the powder. So we have Golden Ivory and Champagne. I love this formula and I'm definitely going to keep both. I have to do a lot of mixing with foundations. I just realized I have two of these, two of these. This is the Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour, which they discontinued. They sent me this a while back. It's been over two years, so this is also going to be thrown away. And this I got at a blogger event. This is also from Le Metier. And um, I just never reached for this. It's a little bit... A little dark. I know you can't really see the difference in here, but I can tell it's not golden enough for me. I'm going to put it in the giveaway. And now we just have concealers. Wow, that was not bad. So we have the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. This is fairly new. I bought it back in September, so this is staying. And plus, I'm almost like done with it, so might as well use it all up. This guy is the L'Oreal Visible Lip CC. It's also going over here. This is the Wet n Wild Concealer. I didn't like it. And this has oxidized so much. It used to be much more lighter. So this is also going to go away. This is from NYX and it's still brand new. It's the HD Photogenic Concealer. So this is just going to go in the giveaway pile. And we have this guy. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. I didn't like this. I got it at a blogger event. Uh, it's just not my thing. The color wasn't good. I 
didn't like the fact that it had sunscreen so it would change color on my skin and you can tell it is quite a dark concealer for me so this is gonna be thrown away what are you looking at back to the concealers we have another l'oreal visible lift cc concealer this has also been used yeah have two I don't know why. I feel like one of them I might have gotten at the L'Oreal Masterclass, so. Both of them are going over here. This guy's from CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Concealer. It is way too dark, but I did just get this from a friend of mine, so it's gonna go in the giveaway pile. I feel like my mom might be able to use it just because it is darker. Remember when these concealer pens were all the rage? <laughs> this is so old gonna get thrown away then we have this guy which is the urban decay naked skin concealer which I clearly loved I mean this is almost completely empty I can see the doe foot applicator so this is gonna be thrown away but man that I love this concealer it's such a nice formula this is the Rimmel match perfection wasn't a huge fan of the applicator or the formula so this is just gonna be thrown away we have another Bare Minerals Concealer. This is the Well-Rested CC Eye Primer, which I used to love, but they discontinued it. So this has also been very well loved. Clearly it's been dried up, so unfortunately it's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> in you go, my friend. You did me well. This was like my second tube of it just because I loved it. So we have the ColourPop White Concealer, which don't remember using that much, but clearly I did. Look at that. Holy crap, I didn't realize how much of the white concealer I used. That's kind of impressive. I feel like I don't really need to use this anymore to lighten up concealers. Plus this is also quite old and well used. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> so this is also gonna be thrown out. We have, oh man, this is also quite old. This is my first ColourPop concealer. Very, very well loved, as you can tell. Almost like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It did me really well. So this is gonna go over here as well. This is the Urban Decay Fair Neutral Concealer. This is the All Nighter Concealer, which is much heavier in coverage. I did already keep one of these. My friend gave me two. She gave me the Fair Neutral and Fair Warm. So I kept Fair Warm. This guy I'm gonna see if somebody can get use from it. This concealer from Yves Rocher is quite old. So I'm gonna say bye bye to it. Wasn't a huge fan. I found it a little bit dry and the color wasn't right. And finally, we have the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer which I do have a review on this up on my channel. This is by far my least favorite Bare Minerals concealer. It is so dry, so cakey, but so many people love it. I'll just give it away. And the final drawer that we'll be tackling today is the primers and powder drawer. There's a few bronzers in here, but I know a lot of them are going to get thrown out just because of how old they are. So this is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Primer, which I did enjoy. This is really old, so it will be thrown out. This guy is the NARS Primer. This is the Pour and Shine Primer. Love it. Will be keeping it for sure. This guy is also fairly new. This is the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Haven't used it that much just because of where it's been living. So I'm going to keep this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation that I got. I feel like Ulta sent me this. So I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. But I feel like someone else might get more use from it. So I'm going to put it over here. This is the Becca Primer. I did review this a few years back. It has a year shelf life unfortunately it's gonna go over here these two wet and wild primer and the sonia kashuk this is no longer available so that's how i know it needs to be thrown out and this guy has been in my collection for a while 
So, and this is also really old. This was part of the same PR package as the foundations. This is staying though. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Primer. Quite new and I absolutely love this primer. This is the best Bare Minerals Primer for oily skin. So it's definitely staying in my collection. I am quite faithful to the Milk Makeup Powder. So a lot of these will be given away just because I don't really see the need for it. So let's start with this guy, LA Colors Powder that I got for my dollar store makeup challenge video. This can go. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Again, super old, but I did get a lot of use from it. So this will be thrown out. I have a tiny Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I already have the Mineral Veil in the standard size. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna gift the small one, keep the big one. Here we have the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. This is part of the Photo Focus range. I did get it at the same time as the concealer and the foundation. It looks like this. Kind of reminded me of the MAC Studio finish or the mineralized finish powder, which I used to love, but this is gonna also be going away. This is the L'Oreal True Match Powder, which I used in the L'Oreal Masterclass that I went to. I'm gonna put this in the gifting pile. This is a powder duo from Bare Minerals. It looks like this. Never really used it. So I'm gonna be giving this away to someone. I feel like someone else might get more use from it. This is a powder from Becca. This is the Golden Hour Soft Light Blurring Powder. Again, something that I don't ever reach for. And this has the expiration date of 16 months. Maybe I'll put this over here. This I know is really old. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Duo. So this is leaving. This is super old. This is the Airspun Cody, Cody Airspun Powder, which smells like a grandma. <laughs> It is so stinky, but it makes your makeup last such a long time. But, um, yeah, I just don't ever reach for it. I don't ever need something to be cemented on my face. So it's not going to be staying. This is a bronzer by Pure, which is beautiful. I used to love this. Hello. <laughs> I used to love this thing. Oh, man. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I kind of want to keep you, but I'm so faithful to the Bare Minerals bronzer that I feel like it's a little too much. So this is going to be gifted. We have a really teeny tiny Kat Von D powder. This is the Locket powder, which I do take with me when I go travel just because of the size. I have a lot of little mini powders. I feel like I'll keep the Hourglass for traveling. This I can give away. This is the Tarte. And this guy, which is the oldest of the three, I can probably use it up. So I'm going to keep this guy. This is also another powder. This is the Zero Sebum powder from Etude House. What's the shelf life? Two years. I'm going to give it away to someone. Still good. This guy, I feel like I'm never, ever going to finish. This is the RCMA powder which I hate the packaging so much. It looks like a packaging that you would see for like condiments, not condiments, seasoning, for seasoning. <laughs> but it is a really nice powder. I just hate the packaging so much that I did decant a little bit into this old Bare Minerals container that I put glossy stickers on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep both just because it is quite a useful powder. Over here are some bronzers. So this is freaking old and <laughs> it's really disgusting. I also bought this while I was studying abroad so this is not gonna make the cut. This is also not gonna make the cut. It's just old as well and um, I don't know I feel like everybody used to love the bourgeois bronzers back in the day but you really had to like scrape it like after a while you would not see any <laughs> any color payoff so 
these are both leaving. They were nice though. Takes me back to the old days of YouTube. This is a bronzer by Kodali, which I purchased when I was studying abroad. So it's very old, but it was quite nice. You just had to use the tiniest little bit because it was very, very um, orangey. This is a bronzer by ColourPop. I can tell you it is very, very old. It looks like this. I feel like it should probably not even be in anyone's makeup collection. So that's leaving. This guy was gifted by my brother. I actually really like this Lancome trio, so I'm keeping this guy. Kevin Aquan contour and highlighter. I love this duo. It's so tiny. I'm keeping this. This is another old YouTube favorite. I think they discontinued it. It's the Honey Bronzer by The Body Shop that I purchased because of Estee. And I used to love it. I did use quite a bit of it but it is very old, so it will be thrown away. I went from having three drawers full of foundations, concealers, primers, to just one. Here we have foundations, powder foundations, here we have some of my powders, primers, and a few concealers that I kept. What an improvement! And I have two empty drawers to play around with. You know what? Let's do this guy too. Might as well. It's face products. This is going to be another one that might be a little heavier on the throwaway side just because there's a lot of older products in here. But I will also be giving away a lot of these. I have the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in Tan, which is more of a blush shade, but I feel like I already have something similar in the Hourglass blushes that I don't really need this guy. So this will be gifted. I have the Invisible Glow in Fair to Light. So this I'm gonna keep, but I will be decluttering some of my highlighters. So we'll see if it makes the cut. Then I also do have the Invisible Glow highlighter in Resilience, which was the shade that Ingrid Nielsen made. I'm gonna keep this too, for now. So I'm gonna do three piles for these. So highlighters, blushes, and then contour bronzer type products so this one beer minerals the aphrodisiac just like all the ready eyeshadows the ready formula for blushes that got discontinued as well this one looks like this i wasn't a huge fan of the ready line in general so this will be given away to someone else other things that will be given away are these true match blushes so this one's in the shade C56 Rosy Outlook. This can go over here just like this guy. This one I actually purchased because of Estee as well. So I think it might be actually older than that guy. So this will be going in that pile. This Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose is also on the older side but I did use it quite a bit but yeah this guy's gonna be leaving just like this guy this one I've had I feel like since before my blog I think I took this to Paris as well and I can smell the powder all the way from here so that's how you know <laughs> if the powder smell is way too strong you gotta throw it out I'm sorry so this is also part of the dollar store makeup challenge this is a blush from la colors that i did not like so that one won't be staying here this is a powder blush from jordana purchased from kmart <laughs> now kmart doesn't exist anymore so i mean that's a good sign that it should most likely leave any makeup collection i don't remember if i like this or not so I don't know. That will be leaving. I see some products from the Balm. This is the Frat Boy blush. This I'm actually going to give to my mom because she loves this blush. She actually has finished two of these, so this is going to go to my mom. Then I also have this one, which is the Instinct Blushes, which I used to love, but 
I don't know, I just moved on to Hourglass blushes and to the new Bare Minerals blushes. So this is gonna be gifted as well. This is the MAC blush in Melba, which I used to love this blush. I actually still like the color, so I'm gonna keep this guy. This is gonna be the first one that I keep. This Jordana Sculpting Go can actually go. It is on the older side and I wasn't a huge fan of it. This Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I don't think I, oh my God, this is brand new. <laughs> this is brand new, never been used, but I'm just gonna give it away to someone because I already have enough highlighters. So this is gonna get a better home somewhere else. This is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, which I haven't used in a while. And everybody was going crazy for this highlighter. I kind of want to keep it because it is a beautiful highlighter. I'm going to keep it for now. This is a Bare Minerals Limited Edition Highlighter and Blush Pinwheel type of thing. It looks like this. This is also part of the Ready range, which was discontinued so this is gonna be I'm gonna put it here in the gifting pile this is a highlighter although it says blush from elf it looks like this this has been in my collection for way too long so it's also going in the pile this is a highlighter from NYX this is the duo chromatic highlighter which is actually quite pretty, but I feel like it's way too similar to the Milk Makeup highlighter palette that I'm keeping. So I'm gonna gift this to someone else. This is a natural highlighter from Malima Pure that I won in a giveaway. I feel like this also can get a better home. Then we have some MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes and Highlighters. This guy for sure needs to be thrown out. <laughs> this has been used. For the longest time, I hit pan, clearly. This is soft and gentle. YouTube OG. Still comes in the old packaging. I used to love this so much. Like, who had this? Soft and gentle. Please let me know in the comments below. But this was great. Fortunately, it has lived through a lot and it should be laid to rest. Then we have three other MAC highlighters. These are from the Star Trek collection. I'm gonna keep them because I'm a Star Trek nerd and I was so happy when MAC sent me the PR package and they invited me to check out the Comic-Con experience and everything so this was one of my funnest blogging experiences so this is staying for sure. And then this one is got invited to a MAC masterclass and they gave us this highlighter which is the one in show gold that's how you know you cannot be reselling it so going to be giving this one away soap and glory peach party this i feel like i also got because of estee she used to love these but it was way too shimmery for me so i never really got much use from it but someone else might this is a blush from yves rocher which is bright red and uh, I feel like I did wear it once or twice, but it was so, so red. And it is very old. I haven't purchased from Yves Rocher's website in a while. This is the ColourPop blush in, in between the sheets, which looks like this. It was used quite a bit, but it is quite old. So I'm also going to be getting rid of that. We have an Almay highlighter. This is one of the jelly highlighters. Look at that. So I'm going to keep this just for shits and giggles right now. This product is from Shea Moisture. This is one of their cream blushes. Was not a huge fan of it. I don't even know if they still sell Shea Moisture makeup products anymore. It's been a really long time. So this is going to go. This is also really old. They don't even make this anymore. This is from Josie Marin. This is the Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Tint. Well, Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. But um, I did used to enjoy this a lot. A little went a long way. But I have the Glossier 
um, cloud paints which I feel like are very similar and this I can no longer get so it's also going to be going. These three are also from Josie Marin. If you've been following my channel for years now then you will remember these. These are the Josie Marin Coconut Water Cheek Gelee and I bought three shades. I used to use these all the time. Love them. They discontinued them so that's when you know it's been way too long. NYC Lovatics by Demi Cheek Tint. I actually did like this but I don't feel like I reach for this very much. I'm gonna put it in the gifting pile for now. Then we have this one by Au Natural Cosmetics which was a birch box sample. So it looks like this. I'm gonna just give it away to someone else. Birch box sample. It was pretty, but uh, I feel like I used the milk makeup once way more, so I'm gonna give that one away as well. I feel like this one should be thrown away. It's been a really long time. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bumpy. Oh, hi. You can see me. Yeah, so this is also going to be bye-bye. Cheek stick from Trestique Cosmetics. They sent me this a while back. Actually, I feel like I can keep this one. It wasn't used that much and it hasn't been exposed to air. And then this one's a chubby stick from Clinique, which, oh my god, it's starting to look white. Okay, now you're leaving. A super cheek highlighter in wisp by ColourPop. this is actually a really pretty highlighter this one i'm keeping but i'm gonna gift this one away this one is in over the moon which is kind of like a hollow graphic iridescent highlighter again i have the milk makeup highlighter palette so i don't feel like i need more of those highlighters i will be keeping this one by bare minerals this is a highlighter with that iridescent effect that I got last year. It's actually really pretty but it was limited edition. So this sample from Well People is one of their highlighters. I got it completely dried up so this will also be leaving my collection. This CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow is actually quite pretty. I feel like I might keep this but I feel like it might be a little redundant to have this and this one. I actually like the CoverGirl one more so this one now I'm giving away to someone else. So that will be going there. This one will also be thrown away. This is a highlighter stick from Jordana. We have two sleek highlighter palettes. This one's the cream one, which is far too old and I do not want to pass this on to someone else. But this one is the powder one. And this one I'm gonna give away, which is quite pretty. I feel like I wanna keep this. This is another, actually this was sent to me by one of my friends in Paris. We have these Deborah Milano blushes. These, one of these I bought while I was in Paris. The other one was sent to me by one of my friends in Paris. This one I'm gonna throw away just because this is the one that I bought in Paris. So it's been eight years. It's pretty, but I feel like I have something similar in my hourglass blushes, so I'm gonna gift that to someone else. This is MAC Limited Edition Blush in Daft Pink. I'm keeping this just because of the name. So that's staying. This is a blush from Besame Cosmetics, which is so pretty. I was so happy when this got sent out to me. So it is kind of a cool pinky blush. Keep it just because I know I don't have anything like that. And these are Tarte blushes, which I used to love back in the day. So I have this one in Captivating. I just stopped reaching for them. Hourglass came into the picture and then I stopped using these guys. I want to keep Exposed because this was the most used out of the three. So I'm going to keep this and this one I can throw away. This is the oldest one. It has the old packaging. So this one was in a chiote. Chiote can leave. This one can be gifted. This, I'm so sad. 
This is an Illamasqua blush, which I used to adore. But I've had this in my collection for maybe seven years. They don't even sell Illamasqua anymore in the U.S. So I'm unfortunately going to put this in the throwaway pile based on how old it is. These are the little cheek pops, which again, I used to adore. This one is in peachy pop. This one is in fig pop. I actually want to keep both. They're really pretty. So this is the gifting pile. This is the throwaway pile and the keep pile. So I actually did really, really well with that. So here we have highlighters, some smaller highlighters and blushes over here. And we have blushes in this side and my little Kevin Aquan contour. Eyeshadows are done. So we have a few face palettes. So we have this guy, the contour palette, and we have the NYX, Make, Juvia's Place, Urban Decay, Reina Rebelde, Bare Minerals. So it's gonna be much easier to go through. These two didn't fit. So I'm gonna have to find a new area. Actually, I know what I can make fit the new e.l.f. J. Kizza palette. So this can actually go right here, hopefully. If not, no, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Okay, so you're going over here. So for the meantime, these two are going in here. And this is the stuff that we're getting rid of. It's so very old cosmetics. This stuff can be given away so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna start to clean up. I kinda wanted to go to Target or Home Goods and see if I can find a throw for my new bed. Not sure what color, but we'll, we'll see. I think I have time if I hurry up. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're brand new, please do subscribe and do give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!